way maker miracle workers promise keeper light in the darkness my god that is who you are yes way maker miracle workers promise keeper light in the darkness my god that is who you are yes Hey, my Jazzy Cruz. 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 How's everybody doing today? Yo, girl, is doing amazing. Yes, y'all, your girl is doing amazing and amazing and amazing, y'all. See, y'all, before we get into anything, First, let me tell you what I have. I have a, a, a turkey burger that I made this morning. But, y'all, I'm doing a little cheat day with some french fries because I want to review this pink sauce. I wanted to try this pink sauce that everybody has been trying. And it got a little fries to, you know, try it with. Anyway, but before we... And then we got that what? We got that water. We got that water. Water. Yes, y'all. We got that water. A drink. A yo water. So, y'all. But before we get into this, let's do we know best, y'all. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that I'm about to receive, Father God. And Father God, let it be nourishing to my body in your name, I pray. Amen. Amen, y'all. So, we're going to go ahead and get into this. Let me make up my little sandwich here first. Because you know your girl got her onions and her jalapeno. And I ain't got to worry about my uh, my pager going off, y'all, because I made sure I logged out today. <laughs> because I didn't want anything to distract my video. So, we're going to put the little peppers on here. And y'all got some news to tell y'all today. Some awesome good news. Okay, I'm going to put the little burger, that's the turkey burger, y'all. I might just do half and half for right now. Depends. Get some napkins down here. How's everybody doing? I know you guys are doing wonderful. Also, like, comment, and subscribe to your girl, Jazzy V. Hit that notification bell so that way you can be notified each and every time your girl uploads a video, okay? Share me out. Go tell a friend. So that way that friend can tell a friend, and then that friend can tell a friend, okay? Yes. All right. So let's get into it. Let's review this pink sauce that everybody's been eating and saying that it was so good. A couple of people, I think, in my TV was like, uh uh. And I was like, mm, make me say uh uh. But I'm going to try it. Hmm. It smells like a, a ranch dressing. Let's see. I'm just going to put a little bit right here because in case. Okay, let's taste this. I'm dying to taste it, y'all. taste bad it actually has like a at least 100 calories but how many how much sodium is in here oh wow 200 of sodium but it's a uh it tastes like it let me see tick tock shake your taste buds with flavor and thrill taste Danger fruit. Oh, dragon fruit and spices. Because I was going to say, it has a little spice to it. But, I mean, a little, yeah, it does a little. It does. It's not bad at all. Hmm. 
I was going to wait and try it on some, uh, some chicken wings or something, but I couldn't wait because this morning when I was making my turkey burger, I kept looking at my pantry and looking at the sauce sitting there, and I said, you know what? Because I was trying to see what did I want. I was trying to do something different instead of having a, a, a salad with my turkey burger. I was going to try to do something different because that's what I was going to do, make a salad and just chop up my turkey burger meat and put it all in there. But I didn't do that. I might as well put this one on here too. Let's just put it all on there together. Mm-mm. Mm. That's pretty good. I'm actually hungry, y'all, because I didn't do no breakfast. Um, yesterday, I didn't really eat at all too much because my mind was, you know, worried about my uh, CT scan yesterday. So, oh, um, y'all, so... We had a blizzard yesterday. I mean, woo, we had, and we're getting some more today at one. We're supposed to get more, but it's so sunny out here. But yesterday, I had my CT scan to do at 7 in the morning. And I knew we were supposed to get some bad weather, but I didn't think it was going to be quite that early in the morning. Now, I guess I only did it in certain areas. And so, yesterday, when I left here from the hospital... Wasn't no snow or nothing. I so you know, I get on the train and go home. So when I get off at my stop, it was snowing like freaking crazy. Snowing like I mean, it was coming down hard. I was like, oh my god, yeah, and I didn't wear my boots or wear my tennis shoes. You know, because I said I'm gonna, you know, get there. I'm gonna be there for a good 30 minutes, I'll be back out at home. So, when I get off the train, like I said, it was snowing like crazy. And then, as I'm walking and stuff, I'm slipping and sliding. So, I kept slipping and sliding. I get a block to my apartment. While your girl slipped and said, floop, floop. It's like I almost flipped over. Like, my whole body just went, shh, bam. And then the way I felt, I landed, like, on my hands. So, I was like, oh, my God. I almost thought I broke my hands. I said, oh, really? <laughs> Y'all, and I didn't have no gloves on, okay? <laughs> I wasn't prepared for none of it at all. But I, I didn't hurt myself or nothing, so that was a good thing. I didn't hurt myself. So now we're supposed to get some more today. This sauce was actually pretty good. I must put some on all over my fries. This was pretty good. I see why Shanette Nicole, she put hers on her chicken. And first I was like, oh, is that good? But... Apparently it was. I'm going to have to try it. I'm going to have to try it. Y'all, I'm going to burn this off today because I'm not going to go to the gym today because it's uh going to be bad weather. But I'm just doing my treadmill at home and do my squats and my squat bot at home. But, so, I'm going to keep y'all waiting on the good news. Because when I tell you, my God, he's an awesome God. He's a way maker. He's a miracle worker and a promise keeper. You hear me? My God. My God, my God. Y'all, so took the CT scan test yesterday and didn't hear nothing back, right? So, of course, you know, I'm sitting there worried, waiting for my phone to ring. Because, you know, normally, anytime that they find cancer, they can't wait. They have to call you immediately and say, hey, this is it. You need to get in, da-da-da, right? Well... I kept saying all that day, I was like, man, nobody has called me. And I'm like, what is the problem? Why they haven't called me? I said, you know, I was telling my mom, she said, well, that ain't right. They need to call you. Why are they going to make you wait? I said, mom, I looked into my chart, and the only thing it says is that you have your follow-up appointment with your cancer doctor on March the 16th. And so I'm like, okay, well, I said, well, she said, can you call them? And I was like, No. I said, well, I know what I do when I get to work. 
I go into a, my chart and leave them a message and ask them, you know, how did my CT uh, scan come out? How did the results come out? Well, she called me. The doctor called me. It's just tears of joy. Not tears of bad. It's tears of joy, okay, y'all? You know I'm a crybaby. But it's tears of joy. To hear them say they didn't find no cancer. My God, my God. They didn't find no cancer, y'all. None. Only thing is, is we just got to figure out what is the red dots all about. Is something irritating it that I'm doing? Why is there so much fluid? Now, I know I keep it getting. I'm going to get it today. I'm not going to forget today. As soon as I'm done here, I'm going to walk on over to the clinic building and get my nozzle uh, stuff that I have to put up there to keep it moist because I'm so dry. And, you know, my cancer, that's the way it is. All back through here, the sinuses, be the old brain and all that. So... I got to go get that to start using that because my throat be so dry and like my saliva is like, it's, it's crazy. You know, it's crazy. But the blessing is that your girl, they said no cancer. They wanted to call me, but they have to get the final results. They had got the results already, but they wanted to get the final results. And so the final results shows no cancer and nowhere period. So I'm so excited about that. And I just had to get on here and let my family know. Also I wanna say I want to say thank you to everyone. Thank you to everyone who sent out love and prayers for me. Miss Picky Pallets, Picky Pallets, Angela East TV, like a second mom to me. Thank you. I truly appreciate you. Vicky's World. Thank you, my love, for the scripture. I appreciate that. I needed that. Also, I want to say thank you to um, her name starts with a V Peachy. Thank you, my love, for your video of singing your worship song to me. Thank you. Thank you to your subscriber who came over to my channel, subscribed to me, and gave me an awesome of love, showing me love and joy and peace, was giving me peace. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate you ladies. I appreciate the ladies that came from um, my mother, Angela East TV, Picky Palace. Thank you, wonderful ladies. And your, the song that you told me, I listened to it, and my God, an awesome, beautiful song. I couldn't remember the words. Not beautiful, but I'm going I'm to get it where it can be posted right here. Where it won't go nowhere. I thank you so much. I thank you for all the love. Tanja's world. Um, some of the names I'm not good with. You know what I mean? But I just thank and I appreciate everybody's love. Kicking it with Lynn. I thank you, my love. My Miss Eating Good. Y'all don't know her. My auntie Eating Good. She don't do videos no more yet. I think she's going to come back, but 
She called me. She reached out to me. Y'all, I can't forget my Yaya at Best Life. Who keeps up and calls me periodically and check up on me. She checked on me the day before I had to do my CT scan. Thank you, ladies. All of the love. And people don't know that. Family YouTubers, they keep the love and joy and smile. They keep you lifted up. And I believe that's what we all here for. Is to show love, support, and all that. And I get that. I get it from all my YouTubers. It is amazing how much that you are truly loved. Even when you haven't even met these people face to face. But you can feel the love from all of them. Amazing. So amazing. When they called me and gave me results, if y'all could have seen me, child, I shouted for joy. I shouted for joy. I screamed, I mean, and, and they was like, what is going on? And some of them I already knew, and so I let them know, and they were screaming and, and shouting with me. Yes, they were. I called my husband and told my husband it was a relief for him because he was so worried, too. So I called my mom. That took a load off my mother, you know, because she wasn't getting any rest just as well as I wasn't getting any rest. So it was so amazing. It was truly amazing. And for them to come in and give me those results was amazing. I was just like, I didn't know which way to go. I was so jacked up to where... I didn't know where to go, but I'm grateful and blessed to hear those results, you know, and I know this is something I'm going to go through for the rest of my life, you know, but as long as I stay, and I noticed that I'm starting to eat back healthy too. I can't go down this road back to it down like, I mean, it's okay every now and then, but I know when. I was eating healthy like this every day. I wouldn't have no fat foods, y'all. None. It was all healthy stuff. I didn't have no problems. And then this whole year, I started eating all different types of crazy stuff. And I feel like everything, because, you know, ain't nothing good for us, no way. So, but, like this morning, again, I had a, uh, for breakfast, I had a kale salad, uh, a kale uh, juice drink. So what I had in it was kale lettuce. I put berries, raspberries, and I buy these frozen avocados. I put in there, and I put a splash of apple cider vinegar and water. And I think that was it, y'all. And it was so good. It was. Excuse me, it was so, so good. Well, so tomorrow, if God's willing, which I know he will, I know he'll wake me up tomorrow morning, I will come with my story time that I want to been that I wanted to talk about for a while. I never got to it. So I have another story time, and I'm gonna tell that one tomorrow because I won't be here long because I have to get off. I got something to do before I get off break. Just to walk over there and get my medicine, and I got to put in some new prescriptions for my vitamins because my vitamins I have to I get prescribed my vitamins, and um because I can't do the ones outside behind the counter or whatever. I have to get mine from my doctor. And then I have to get my uh, sinuses pills, my uh, my Claritin. I get Claritin, I have to get them. I get those through the doctor, too. And um, so I got to get that. 
my vitamin, and I got to get the stuff to go in my nose too, y'all. So I'm gonna do that before I go back to work. But yes, y'all, I'm so happy. I mean, I liked it, this sauce. I thought I did. I was a gluten gluten free and vegan. Oh, it's a vegan sauce too. Hmm. I'm not to uh dragon fruit puree. Hmm. I don't know about it. I'm gonna have to retry it again because I'm not liking it on here like I thought I did. I think it's like um I thought it smelled like a wrench, but it's giving me and I'm not a mayonnaise mayonnaise person. I don't really too much like mayonnaise. I mean I get it like it's like if I go to the you know the restaurant or something it has it on there. But I'm not liking it no more like I thought I did. I don't like it, y'all. I'm not, mm, I thought I'd liked it, but I don't. Maybe it's so, so sweet or something. I don't know. It's not giving me what I thought it was going to be giving me. Mm -mm. And y'all, this sauce costs too much money. So guess who's going to eat it, though? I'm going to use it for something. But this sauce is... Uh, this sauce cost me not eight dollars. Eight dollars mm. for this, y'all. But it has to be used before our zero six. Twenty four. Oh, it lasts from the month of uh, think June of two thousand and twenty four next year. But it's not giving me what I thought it was gonna give me. So I'm not too much liking it. But again, we ain't wasting it. We ain't throwing it in the trash either. Okay? That's what we're not going to do. Is throw it in the trash. No. I went down to see my little guy in the kitchen. Little white guy. He's so nice and sweet. And uh, he was crying. You know, we, we play like, you know. But I noticed he was, and he gave me that look. And I was like, what's wrong? And he came and he gave me, just hugged me. And I said, what's wrong? Are you okay? What's going on? Well, they had to put their dog down. And they had to, the dog, I think he said the dog killed the cat or something. But however, I know they, they the, the cat's dead, and the dog had to get put to sleep. So he's so hurt and distraught about that. He was like he had his cat for a whole year. I don't know how long he had the dog. But he just, poor, poor thing, just crying and crying. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I said, I can imagine that it's devastating. I never had a, an animal where they, you know, that long, man. It had to get put down, you know. But I'm pretty sure it could be devastating. Hey, it's just like your baby, you know? It's like a human being. But yeah, this dog thing, it ain't giving me it ain't giving me what I wanted, what I thought it was gonna give me, y'all. It ain't doing it for me. <laughs> it ain't doing it for me, y'all. But anyhow, so that is my story for today. Is that um, uh, you know, I was listening to uh, forgot her name, um, and she sings that one gospel song, um, um. Dang it. She sings that one song. Um, break every chain. Break every chain. 
break every chain. I like when she says, there's an army rising up. Yes. There's an army rising up. Yes. I ain't a singer though, but to break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain. Yes. I tell you, he's amazing. He's awesome and he will do it. And we just have to trust, have faith and believe. Now, I know I would just strut and I cry because I'm a big old baby. But again, if you ain't walk down my shoes and when you get news, devastating news like that, and then you don't hear that you can't find out nothing until they do all the work that they have to do to find out, it can be something rough on you. It can be stressful. It can be worrisome. All of that. But I know that, uh, you know, I believe in God and that I know he can make things happen and he turn around for the good, you know. But as I said yesterday, before I found out the results, I told God, I said, you know what, Lord? Whatever you bring to me, whatever comes my way, you taught me how to fight through it. And you was right there with me. Because if I got through my first one, Then I can get through my second one. So, but that's the good news. I'm excited. I'm more happy now, but I'm still a little worried. And only because I'm trying to figure out what are these little dots and what am I doing wrong that is irritating the, the tumor, the, the cancer part. What is irritating and what's up with the fluids? So we'll find out more uh, March the 16th. And then I believe that my mom is coming down again March the 19th with my niece. My oldest niece is bringing her kids down to go to the Nickelodeon. Because, you know, we have the Nickelodeon in the uh, Mall of America. So I'm excited for that. And then, you guys, I'll be headed back down to my mom's March the 27th because my mother is having knee surgery on March the 28th. So she's bone to bone. So I will be down there with her for two weeks to take care of her. Because she won't better do anything. So I get to torture her. <laughs> I told her, I said, I'm going to torture you and pinch you and pinch you and pinch you. And tell you, stop it. Do this. Don't do that. Do this. <laughs> Dang, my 30 minutes up already? Dang. All right, child. Well, I thought I was going to stop this before. A time so I can go over to the other building. But I will. Anyway, again, thanks for all the love. All the new subscribers are truly, truly appreciated. Again, like, comment, subscribe to your girl, Jazzy B. Hit that notification bell so that way you'll be notified each and every time your girl uploads those story times, okay? Because I'm coming with a funny one and another one tomorrow. With peace, love, and happiness, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And happy birthday, Miss Yaya. Peace.